We'll say a few words on Parashat HaShavua. I think it's a big chizuk for all of us. In Parashat Vayera, there is a very interesting question. It says there, after Moshe complains, Kivyachol, to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and say, Lama areot al ha'am hazeh, Lama zeh shelachtani. Since Moshe came to help the nation, to take them out of Egypt, he saw the opposite happening. Paro just put more pressure and more work on Am Yisrael. And Moshe had a hard time. All the people of Israel were telling him, well, what are you doing? You came to give us a salvation or uh, more work? So Moshe Rabbeinu talks to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And he says, Lama reot alam azeh? And Hashem answered him a very interesting uh, answer. Vaydaber Elohim. Let's find it here. And he tells him that basically that's the plan. Vegam ani shamati et naakad b'nei Yisrael asher mitzrayim ha'avitim otam ve'etzkor et beriti lachen emor לבני ישראל, אני אדוני והוצאתי אתכם מתחת סבלות מצרים והצלתי אתכם מעבודתם וגאלתי אתכם בזרוע נטוי המשפטים גדולים. God says to Moshe, and I also heard the scream of Am Yisrael in Egypt and don't worry, I will save them, I will take them out of Egypt וגאלתי והצלתי וכו'. The question, Rabotai, what is this? Vegam ani shamati. And I also heard. When you say, I also heard, means someone else heard that before, right? When you say, oh, I also heard the scream of Am Yisrael, so someone heard the scream before. Why does a Kadosh Baruch Hu speak like that? Vegam ani, vegam. So I want to give you one interpretation that it's very actualic. Relevant. Said that this is a new word that I invented. Actuali. Very relevant. Vegam ani shamati, and I also heard Chachamim say that Am Israel, they were working hard in Egypt. The Egyptians were beating them. They were coming home, it says in the Midrash, they didn't even have the power to be to, to, to talk to their wives. They were so in pain. But you know, they were not in pain on themselves. They were in pain because they saw other Jews in pain. They heard each other's pain. Chachamim said that Am Israel, when they saw that their friends, the other Jews, are working hard, they felt that pain. It was painful for them that other people are suffering. They could handle their own pain. But what was really hard for them, it's the other person. And on that they were screaming to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. They were screaming to Hashem, Ribono Shel Olam, but look, look at my friend, look at my neighbor. They have a hard time, please help them. Then HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, Vegam Ani Shamati, I also heard, they heard the pain, so therefore I also heard the pain. I am the second one who heard. First they heard, they heard the pain of their friends, of the other Jews. And then HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, and that's why I will save them. I will redeem them from, the, uh, the, 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 from Egypt. Because you have that uh, empathy to another Jew. To see the pain of another Jew. HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, if you hear the pain of another Jew and you care about what's happening with them, I also care and I will save both of you. It's a little bit similar to what the Gemara says, "Amitpalel al chaviro." No, ne'enat echila. If you pray for your friend, 
Hashem says, oh, you prayed for your friend to have parnasah? So guess what? I'm going to give you parnasah first and then I'm going to give him. Because you were, you felt his pain that he doesn't have parnasah? You felt his pain that he doesn't have a, a wife yet? You prayed for him? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to you and then I'm going to give it to him. So, this is, I think, a big lesson for now. It's very relevant. Rabotai, there is, uh, Am Israel is in pain right now. And we are kind of far away. We have our life, you know. We're eating our steaks and living uh, normally. Well, our brothers and sisters are dying and we no, forget I about it. At Mol, Davka, Mieser, Gadol, Baretz, yeah. we should abstain to eat meat and wine. And this one second, one second. Well, that's what I'm saying. We shouldn't eat no steak and no nothing. So, so that's, one, that's all my point, uh, Rabbi Moshe. Tatamita, magdimoti. Our brothers and sisters are in pain. I don't know who sent it, I think, in our group, in the, in the group of the, the Minyan. A long time ago, that the, the, the soldiers are sleeping on the floor, the rain is on them, and they don't have even what to cover themselves from the rain. When I saw that, I said, how can I sleep in a bed? You know, I was like, I felt, I felt, because we are Jews. That's our character. We have to feel the pain of others. Now, someone told me, I, I, I was speaking about this uh, topic for a, few, for a few days already with people, and someone asked me a question, he says, oh, but how does it help? Okay, let's say they are suffering and now I'm here going to feel the pain. And let's say even like you said, I'm going to say, you know what? How can I drink wine? I'm not going to drink wine for the soldiers of Israel. How can I eat meat? I'm not going to eat steaks. Okay, I'm going to eat maybe chicken and not, not meat. No. So, so maybe for, for the soldiers to feel their pain, to feel their pain. So he says, how is it going to help? They don't benefit from you uh, sleeping on the floor or, uh, or, or, or not drinking wine or eating meat. But it's not correct. I'll tell you why. There's something that's called sharing pain. Am Israel is like one. That's the concept of when you go to the hospital to, to visit a person that is sick. The Gemara says that if 60 people will come, he will be healed. Why? Each one of them take one out of 60 of his disease. Now there is a lot of uh, commentaries. It has to be 60 people in his age or in his uh, source of soul, according to the Kabbalists. But anyhow, any person that comes to visit the sick person, even though he didn't help him, he didn't do anything, just by him coming, he took a little bit of, it, of his disease out. How does it work? I saw one of the Mephoshim say, because when you see someone sick, Automatically you have pain. You feel bad for him. You see him in the hospital. That feeling that you felt, so you shared a little bit of the pain that he needed to go through, you took it from him. The same concept is on Avlut. Someone that is uh, passed away. So people ask, why do we need to suffer Shiva, not a uh, shower? You don't change your clothes. You can do things, you can work, you can do things normally, you pay, you're in pain, you, you lose money. Because the neshama is going through pain, lo alenu, when they go to shamayim, when the relatives, the shiva kovim, that they, they, they do this, they take a little bit of that pain on themselves. It's helping the neshama. Same thing with, with Am Yisrael. So I'm saying it to myself, I need a chizuk. We have to feel the pain of others. In our community, there is a lady that is sick. And we need to feel the pain also. Someone is sick, so we need to do something. We can't just sit like that and, and continue. So Bezat Hashem, after Tefillah today, we will do a limud. It's not gonna take a lot of time, a few minutes. From the Ben Ishchai that he says that who Whoever is sick, when we do that limud, that learning for him and tefillah and misha berach, it helps. It's called limud kal v'chomer because kal v'chomer is the midah of el. El rachum v'chanun. Every midah has a relation to a certain uh, 
to a certain מידה שהתורה נדרשת בה. In the Mechilt of Rabbi Ishmael that we read every morning. And the Midah of El, which is Chesed, kindness, is connected to Kal Vachomer. So the Ben Ishchai say, whoever learns Kal Vachomers for a refuah of someone, he brings Chesed to that person and he heals Bezat Hashem. So as a part of feeling the pain of others, we will do that after Tefillah. But also, don't forget, I'm not saying to be in pain all day. That's an Avera, by the way. You have to be happy all day. Mitzvah gdola liot besimcha. But every day we have to feel for a moment something that we do, share the pain of the people in Eretz Yisrael. So like in Tisha B'Av, for example, if you have two pillows, take one off. If you have one pillow, take one off. Why do you don't have pillow if your son asks you? To tell you because Am Yisrael is in pain. And I also want to feel the pain. So how can I... I'm not I don't, I don't telling you to sleep on the floor. But do something. To show HaKadosh Baruch Hu, I'm not eating this thing that I really, really like for feeling the pain of Am Yisrael. Bezrat Hashem Yiratzon, that we have only Besorot Tovot. Baruch Adonai Le'olam. Amen ve'amen.